Chester. I hear a human is again to build us a new aviary. Really? Are you sure? I'll ask that human just to make sure. Daddy human, I have a question for you. Are you really going to build us a new aviary? Yes, little Aries. Me and Mommy Human are going to build you a new aviary. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Chester is really, really, really true. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so excited. Hi everybody, Daddy Human here along with Chester. And today we're gonna to be talking about Chester and Aries custom aviary build. In this video, we're going to walk you through step-by-step step, everything we did to, to create the aviary you see today. Uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Hey Daddy Human, welcome to everybody at home how we did the base. That's an excellent idea, Sister Human. Why don't we first start by telling everybody what type of materials we used. We use shiplap boards. That's right. And why did we choose shiplap boards? Because they're big, great at making a base. That is correct. So we chose this particular set of shiplap boards because the gap in between, when paired with the pieces that came with the aviary walls, creates a perfect gap in order for us to be able to create the base stand. Now let's talk about how we put this together. To build the base, I utilized four 10-foot shiplap boards. In order to create the side panels, you're going to need to take the boards and cut them down to 47 and 1 8 inch. So you'll need two pieces that are 47 and 1 8 inch paired together in order to make the side panels. For the front panels, you're going to cut the pieces down to 69 and 1 half inch. Same goes for the back panels. Two panels for the front, two panels for the back. As we talked about earlier, in order to piece these together, you're going to take your individual spacers. I've placed mine slightly offset from where the aviary walls fit into the, fit into the individual pieces. Place your spacer in between the boards and utilizing a six and one and one quarter drywall screw, secure the boards together about every 10 inches. And a pro tip, stain the boards before you piece them together. We made the mistake of staining them after we put them together, which created all kinds of problems. One being uneven tone of the stain, and also the insides of the boards we could not reach with the stain, so that is visible. So again, stain the boards before you piece your sections together. Hi, Mommy Human here. Um, I just wanted to show you the board that we used for the bottom of the birdcage. It's foam insulation board and it's waterproof and mold resistant. To prepare your floor, you are going to take your green board and cut it down to 47 by 66 and 5 eighths. In order to cut your board, you are going to take your X-Acto knife and run it along the length of your board. and break off the excess piece, like so. To add additional support to the frame, we added corner braces. In addition, we added tape between the base and the floor to ensure that seeds did not make it to the carpet. To secure your walls, you are going to use the bolt, screw, and metal pieces that came with the kit. To secure our roof panels, we utilized two methods. One is to utilize zip ties between the aviary walls and the, and the ceiling panels themselves. Another method we used was to utilize the clips that came with the kit, which is secured by a bolt and two metal pieces. The kit we purchased came with 11 panels and one door. One of our panels was damaged 
and the company sent us a new panel. We were able to fix the panel that was damaged and use it for the roof. If you want to use panels on your roof the way that we did, you will have to purchase an extra panel. Wow, thank you so much for my new aviary mom and dad. I'm gonna go get my toys and put them in there right now. Thank you. did such a great job. I can't wait for you to join me in the aviary, Aries. All right, so it's Chester's first night in his new aviary, and as you can tell, he is really excited. Aries will not, Aries will not be joining him tonight because uh, he is still in his box. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Have a good night. Good night. So we're going to talk about uh, the materials that we use, the challenges we encountered, uh, all of the materials. And cut. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit like and subscribe. I'm going to do it again, but without him like picking it up. <laughs> so Chester, today we're going to talk about building your cage. How does that sound? I see you seem so thrilled. For the door. And remember everybody, if you like what you see in the video, please click the like or subscribe button. For the door, you will do the same thing you did for the wall, except the lock. The lock you will have to secure. For the door, you will use the same approach you used for the panels, except for the lock, which you will need to except for the latch, which you will need to see. Winston, no, don't eat that. Oh.